Teresa Foley works in the Minor Injuries Unit in Waterford Regional Hospital, where she prescribes both x-rays and medications. She describes the impact that being a nurse prescriber has had on her work. Well, the Minor Injuries Unit here is it's a nurse-led service. There are three advanced nurse practitioners who are also dual uh, prescribers of ionising radiation and medicinal products. Uh, so we work quite autonomously, but as part of a multidisciplinary team, both within the department, the emergency department and the hospital. Anything that you want to do in the health service, basically, you have to prove that there's a service need there for it. So before we started up as nurse practitioners, we did an audit of waiting times for people with minor injuries. And we also did an audit of the percentage of patients presenting to the department who would be fit to be seen in a minor injuries unit and 60 odd percent of patients attending the department would be suitable to be seen in a minor injuries unit. Uno O'Brien please. The whole extra prescribing has fed into our autonomy in dealing with the patients that we don't have to go looking for a doctor to countersign an extra card without having seen the patient himself. And you broke your wrist. It has made us better able to deal with larger numbers of people. The waiting times prior to setting up the nurse practitioner led service for minor injuries was about four and a half hours and we got that down to under an hour from the time they've been triaged to the time they've been dealt with. Are you on any regular medication for anything? No. Nope. Since the minor injuries unit slash nurse practitioner service started we've seen over 23,000 patients. To date we've had no complaints. Well I think it has raised the profile of the department. The, the feedback that we're getting from patients is good. They find their experience much more calming and not the hustle and bustle of the main department. If there's one nurse practitioner working a day, we see between 25 30 patients a day. So it relieves the department and the waiting room of that number of patients and their aunts and uncles and mothers and fathers and sons and daughters and everyone who comes in with them. It has fit into our role very well. We're now far more autonomous than we used to be. The majority of patients that we see would never see any other practitioner or any doctor when they come to the department. Basically, we can deal with the patients from start to finish.